likely the third leading cause of death in humans around the world. And the major risk factor is cigarette smoke exposure. CAPD is one of the major health problems today, and there are very few drugs that we can offer right now. I think it's very hard to get insight into the mechanism of this disease. One of the problems with all drug development is that we're either studying cells in isolation in a dish when cells function totally differently when they're in the context of their tissue or their organ. And then if you do animal studies, there are ethical issues and cost issues and time issues. But one of the biggest problems is that more often than not, results that you obtain in animal studies do not predict what you see in humans when you get to clinical trials. The presence of a small airway disease in, in these animals actually is questionable. You cannot find the small airway pathology that is a major pathology in COPD lungs actually in mice and rodents. Also, there's a problem with animal models. The most widely used animals in research for smoke exposure, they are called obligate nose breathers. They cannot breathe through the mouth. You have to fill up the cage with the smoke and they smoke it passively. Whereas in humans, we can do it active through the mouth and we can also regulate the smoking topography, smoking behavior. Over the past six or seven years, we've been able to develop organs on chips, which are little miniaturized vascular networks created with computer microchip manufacturing that are lined by living cells to recapitulate the normal physiology of living human organs, the complex functions including inflammation and, and infection. And a logical next step on this was to see like, could you actually see what would happen with cigarette smoking? With the organs on chips, we have the cell tissue organ level, but we had to develop an apparatus that would hold cigarettes, that would light cigarettes, that would control puffs, and then would collect the smoke and then deliver it to the air channel of our lung chip. And this is important because usually when people study effects of cigarettes on cells and culture, they, they take a liquid extract of the cigarette, but we experience real smoke. To be able to model COPD disease in a more clinically relevant manner, we developed this platform. So this is smoke and lung chip. The first component is a micro-respirator. Micro-respirator is kind of meant to mimic the rib cage and diaphragm. So when you inhale or exhale, you need to pull in air and push it out. The second component is the small airway chip itself. The third component is the smoke machine. So think about it as the mouthpiece, where you have the smoker actually push the cigarette into their mouth and actively take it in. And the fourth component is the software that controls the breathing profile and the smoking behavior. Parameters like how many puffs you do per cigarette. So you have the architecture of the cells as you have in the human lungs. You have geometry similar to the small airway and you have exposure, which is physiologically relevant. One of the strengths of these microsystems technologies is that we can line these with cells from specific patients. And now we can actually do matched comparative modeling before and after environmental perturbation like smoking. In clinical studies, there's a high level of inter-individual variability because you're comparing a group of patients with another group of patients or healthy donors. And they are naturally different and that creates a high level of noise. Whereas in the chip technology, because we can recreate long airway of the same individual and one set gets smoke exposure, one set doesn't get smoke exposure, you eliminate that inter-individual variability so you can make a true comparison. It creates a platform that would eventually advance drug development for smoke-induced pathologies like COPD and it would allow looking at toxicity of imaging tobacco-related products such as electronic cigarettes which is not possible using animals or alternative models.